Shalom, call Haloyam La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachagwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and others, a great millstone, who rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you since I came out there that's pushing this 100% truth. With thoughts and sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash, by a cop from the great millstone. I am Mikhail coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. This is going to be a quick lesson, a prompt-to lesson. Going into, you know, um, exhortation to the to the hopeful elect okay which we believe we are uh, humbly and by faith all right and understanding the times that we're in okay if you, you we can clearly see that we are in the end of the end okay and we're on a any day now uh, time frame any day now all hell can break loose uh, you know, there's many different scenarios, many different ways all hell can break loose, and any of these things could happen at any time. Okay, we understand uh, with uh, the thing with all these so called uh, cyber attacks, uh, cyber polygon uh, was just conducted. We understand, uh, you know, that's going to be a, a another incident similar to event 201. Back in uh, 2019, and right after you had COVID-19, which Event 201 was a simulation of a pandemic. Cyber Polygon is basically the same thing, but on a, a digital a digital virus. <laughs> so get ready to expect more cyber attacks, which they've been having and having, but expect more. They can hit the, uh, which we, you know, pray, hope and pray they do something with the electrical grid. All right, something with the internet knock out communications that can easily call all cause all hell to break loose okay we understand what's getting ready to happen with this uh united states dollar and the introduction of uh digital currency we understand everything this devil has planned within his great reset agenda with the whole world economic forum and whatnot all right and there's a whole other host of plagues and things the most High has in store for babylon the great and as well as the rest of the world that we are uh you know we understand we know certain things are going to happen but we don't know exactly everything that's going to happen so we just sitting back and uh watching this praying watching and praying as our lord yahweh Shah commanded us so you know what we what we need to do right now you know talking about self first is build up our building what we should be doing is building up our faith okay building up our faith we we as we said we call ourselves the hopeful elect and we hope which means expect to be delivered okay at the final deliverance at the at the last trump okay as also through these different plagues leading up to the hour of salvation the lord is going to have many different deliverances smaller uh scale deliverances happening in the midst of all hell breaking loose for his elect okay and just as it's being made more evident that these people of the world are more than deserving of of their of their destruction they they totally earned it everything that's coming to them hey lord willing we are on the right hand side we're doing what we have to do in order to be saved okay we have to go into this thing with the, with confidence and with faith, not, you know, being unsure, not fearful and, and doubting, but believing. OK, so this video is just going into exhortation and, you know, letting the hopeful elect know that if you are indeed of the elect, which the scriptures say, may, uh, give diligence to make that calling and election sure if you are of the elect. If you're doing the things that's required of you and you endure to the end, you are going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right in the spirit if you're one of those uh, chosen few. So with that being said, let me just get some scriptures. I don't have much scriptures uh, planned out, but I'm going to start here. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory okay 
That's talking about all 12 tribes. Our people who are ruined, they're fallen because the, the things that they say and the things that they do are against the will of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Okay, that's why we're getting going into a time that's uh, the scriptures called Jacob's trouble. Okay, and the scriptures tell us that uh, judgment is going to come upon the house of the Lord first. Verse 9. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. And they declared their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Okay. Especially what's going on right now, which, you know, what happened at the BT Awards. And the whole vibration with Jake is to be a damn Sodomite. Okay. They're using our people to be the face of their alphabet agenda, alphabet movement. And our people, the majority of our people... You know, whether they're part of the alphabet gang or not, just in general, they don't hide their wickedness. Okay? Just like uh, not long ago, us brothers was having camp and you had some, uh, you know, uh, some uh, southern tribe females walk past the camp. And one of them said, yeah, we know we wicked. We know we wicked. And she wasn't being, you know, uh in a you know being facetious or whatever she she was being for she was for real i can't hear in the voice she she said we know we wicked but did she try to repent did she try to change no that's our people they know they're wicked and that goes for all jake because jake has a conscience jake has a zeal for the most high they're born with that but what do they do they shun it they, they, they push it away and they embrace the ways of the devil, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. As the scriptures say, I have created man upright, but the way of the wicked, or uh, matter of fact, the scriptures say, uh, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth him. And the scriptures also say, I've created man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Okay, many adventures of, of the heathen starting with Esau. Okay, so they declared their sin as Sodom. They're proud about uh, their wickedness. They're, they don't make songs about, you know, committing adultery and worshiping idols and sing and dance to it and, and, and uh, give each other a pat on the back for, for doing wickedness. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, right? At the end of the day, they're going to be destroyed for that. At the end of the day, when the Most High, you know, pours out uh, their works upon them, as the scriptures say, the Most High is not mocked for whatever a man sow, that also shall he reap. For he that sow to the flesh shall uh, reap of the flesh corruption. But he that sow to the spirit shall reap uh, life everlasting, roughly paraphrasing. These men and women of our of our nation are going to receive their just desserts. Okay, and and knowing that, that's what's going to give us that's also a part of knowledge and wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge being the stability of our times. Once we see all our people getting put to death left and right, when the scriptures say a thousand shall fall, uh ten thousand at that right hand, a thousand at that left, really paraphrasing. A lot of you, these people you're going to be seeing put to death is our, our own people, Jake. And you knowing that they deserve everything they, they, that, they, that they're getting, that's going to give you a, a sense of, uh, you know, comfort and serenity through, through everything that's going on. You see, you're not going to be all in your emotions and in your feelings. You understand that everything that's happening is, is for a reason. Okay. Verse 10, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Right. So. And when we don't, we, I can't point to a man and say this man is of the elect. I, I can't say it for myself, but I can have a sense of great belief that one is of the elect because of the their uh their their works the scripture say a, a tree sh a tree shall be known by its fruit okay so a man or a group of men are going to be known whether the lord is with them based upon their actions based upon them displaying the fruits of the spirit 
or whether them displaying the, the fruits of the flesh. You see, so if you are displaying these attributes that the scripture said man of the wood, a man of the Lord would, then you have to expect that you're going to be delivered. It's, it's point blank period. And, you, and also with fear and trembling, you know, praying to the Lord that he doesn't remove this, his spirit from you. But if you do indeed, if you're on the right track and you continue to go in the right direction to the end, then you, you're going to make it. Okay. Every step of the way. And if the Lord does have you, you know, uh, give up your life because certain brothers is going to have to give up their lives for a, a, a burnt offering unto the Lord. Just just for prophecy sake, just for the gospel sake, those men is going to be raised up first. You see? So it's a win-win situation. You can't lose being of the elect. And 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 for the majority of the brothers, you're going to be good during the hour of Jacob's trouble. The most high is going to show a, a, an extreme level of favor upon those that truly uh serve him and fear him in truth and sincerity and are of that number. Okay? So that's something that we should, you know, expect to take uh partake in. If you're partaking right now in the different sufferings and the hell that comes along with doing this work, well expect to uh you know uh inherit the blessings as well. Okay? Which is really going to start when all hell breaks loose. As the scriptures say, my servant shall eat and sing and rejoice while everybody else is crying and howling for a vexation of spirit. So just as we, we you can clearly see, all right, which we don't know who's going to repent at the last minute, who's of the elect. But the majority of these people, these jakes, you, you, you see, they ain't, they ain't going to make it, man. That's evident. As opposed on the right hand side, you see different brothers going a uh, week in, a week out throughout the week, serving the Lord, doing what they got to do, offering everybody as a living sacrifice, showing charity. OK. Brothers sincere, falling, getting back up. As the scripture say, men of the Lord would, as the righteous would. You, 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 you got to. And also, you know, you praying for, for brothers. You know, knowing and believe that Yahweh Shai is praying for, for brothers, making intercession on their behalf to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. We must we must uh, have faith that these things is going to lead to us being changed and, and delivered. You see. Verse 11, woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him for the reward of his hand shall be given him. All right. So that's the separation as the scriptures say. In all the land saith the Lord, two parts shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. And he's going to bring them through the fire and, and try them and purify them. And we and we have to believe we are of, of that uh that one third, man. Starting with the hundred and forty four thousand if you out here doing the work, if you're a prophet. You see, and then the, and then the rest of the other, uh, uh, you know, the elect, the believers, uh, men, women, and children, friends of the prophets. Okay, wherever your whatever your lot is, if you if you doing your lot to the best of your ability, you have to hope for salvation, man. And and that's the type of mindset you're gonna have to uh, have going into these times we're going into. If if if, if not, then a. Hey, the scriptures do say if our conscience condemn us, we have one that is greater than our conscience. Okay? But the scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities uh, lift up yourselves. So we got to have faith in this thing. All right? So that's just something I wanted to go into through the spirit. Lord, is that a fine? With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. To the next lesson. Shalom.